نخوض ونلعب. The Quran says that they said this. We were just playing and messing about. So Allah then states, لا تعتذروا. Do not make excuses. قد كفرتم بعد إيمانكم. You have become disbelievers after you were believers. Right, but he's not takfiring her, right? So he's saying all of these things. He said that these verses are clear and explicit. There's no other possible interpretation. These are things known by necessity in the religion. So he's setting up, he, he, as the takfiri that he is, he's establishing the case against her and saying that there's absolutely no other possible interpretation. Now, surely Muhammad Hijab is not so ignorant as to not know that there are other interpretations. And if he knows that there are other interpretations, whether he agrees with them or not, you can disagree with the interpretation that I've offered, the interpretation that the academic Saqib Hussein has offered. But what you cannot claim is that there is no other interpretation. Just like I can't claim that there isn't another interpretation that is in line with Muhammad Hijab is saying. But here Hijab is saying there's no other interpretation and then he's setting this up that he's saying that now you're mocking the religion and that you, he's talking about the woman in the audience, you are a kafir. Now he's not going to say it explicitly, but he's going to hint at it. And he's going to do this quasi takfir. So he's not man enough to actually do the takfir, right? And he wants to have plausible deniability, but what he's really doing is setting up a case of takfir, excommunication, instead of trying to say in a neutral or academic, balanced manner that, look, there are different interpretations. Here's the interpretation I take. You might disagree, but here's what I think. Don't you think that that's a responsible way to take this so that you're not causing people to actually leave the religion? Knowing how sensitive this issue is, Hijab himself knows that this is a very sensitive issue for Muslims living in the West. He knows that some women, if they hear people like hijab, they will want to leave the religion because they will think it's sexist, it's misogynistic. So don't you think he should then be cognizant of that fact and try to soften this issue and say, look, there are other interpretations and not try to actively drive her away from the faith? Let's keep watching.